Okay, so we start with our first part. Define the set of integers. When we describe temperatures below zero or above zero, we need to write it a certain way. So temperatures of five above zero or a balance of $100, $100 or a thousand foot above sea level, we can use numbers called positive numbers to represent that information. So um, five degrees above zero okay five degrees celsius above zero um a balance of a balance of fifth of a hundred dollars or we can say next thing the next example is say a thousand foot above sea level these are examples of usage of positive numbers where we can use integers to represent them okay so we can use these numbers which we call prime i mean positive numbers mm -hmm. so the positive number is what we are using here so positive numbers are used to describe values above balance and above again okay so these are lone positive values um, all positive numbers are greater than zero so positive numbers so let's write that down positive numbers are greater than zero okay and we can write them with or without a positive sign can be expressed with the positive or without the positive sign positive sign okay so we can do that so we can express them with which or without the positive sign so long as it is positive and positive numbers are greater than zero positive numbers are all of these examples in which we are using so now let's put them in words in symbols and how do we read them so in words in words in symbols and how they are read okay so I'm gonna start here and put this piece here so we say five degrees above zero in symbol we write plus five or simply five in words we'll say positive five so this is how we can put it in symbol and read as this is in words five degrees above zero a balance of 100 that could be written as plus 100 or simply a hundred that is understood to have the plus sign there so we say positive a hundred okay the one before we said 1000 feet above sea level that could be stated 1000 or simply a thousand positive a thousand so let's go back and see what, what they mean in words you can say five degrees above above zero it is plus five or simply five positive five in words you can say a balance of a hundred dollars that we have heard balances before if you're doing businesses plus a hundred or a simply a hundred and positive a hundred it is red okay now this were above we loan positive values what happens now if we were to put a negative values in front how will they be read in words and how are they read so let's use the same numbers here again so we can see the difference so in words 
in symbols and read as okay so here we're going to say five degrees below zero that could be written as negative five okay and you cannot just leave out the negative now that negative needs to be in there and we simply read it as negative five a balance of a hundred you can put a hundred dollars overdrawn overdrawn you withdrew more than what you actually have or or, or more than what you should so minus a hundred which is negative a hundred and this is 1000 1000 feet below sea level which means minus a thousand or negative a thousand so here we can we can see now that a positive value can be read this way positive in, in front of the numerical value and it could be read in words likewise if it's negative it can be read in words negative five and it could be, be written in symbol and this is how you write it also okay so any of them you can do it in that format together now these two this type of information together positive and negative numbers are called signed numbers and let's understand why they're called signed numbers because they have a sign simple as that okay so positive and negative numbers right great positive numbers are greater than zero as we are, how we have said negative numbers are obviously less than zero caution as a caution we need to, to take into account here let me again caution zero is neither positive nor negative okay so we have positive numbers we have negative numbers and we have zero we have negative numbers combined with positive numbers they are called sign numbers so this is what it is known as sign numbers zero is neither positive nor negative now the collection of positive whole numbers and the negative of the whole numbers and zero is called the set of integers so put these three concepts here this is what is known as integers so collection so collection of positive whole numbers because you will not have a fraction in the integers the negative negatives of the whole let me zoom in here again or oh, collection of the positive whole numbers and the negative of the whole numbers and zero is called the set of integers so we have just described what are integers the set of integers can be written as bracket front three little dots let me put here negative five negative four negative three negative two negative one zero one two three four five comma and infinite goes the three little dots on the right hand side indicate that the list con continues forever infinitely goes 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 all the way to positive uh, 1000 a million billion trillion it doesn't stop there is no largest integer the minute you find an integer being large there's another larger integer so if you think that a million a positive a million is large then a million and one will be more larger than one million 
the three little dots on the left hand side mean indicates that the list continues forever to a negative there is no smaller smallest integer likewise okay so if you say negative a million then the smaller one to negative a million is negative a million and one okay so the positive integers now so we have to differentiate them so positive integers positive integers this is the set of integers the positive integers now fall from one two three infinitely goes the negative integers go from infinitely neg negative infinity negative three negative two negative one and stops there okay all right and now these integers here these positive integers are all whole numbers likewise so because the positive integers include all whole numbers we can say that all positive integers or the set of positive integers is a subset of the integers so in summary set of positive integers is a subset of the set of positive integer is a subset of the integers okay these are the set of of whole numbers remember in other words the set of whole numbers is a subset of the integers so positive integers which make up the whole numbers we can say remove the positive integer and say the set of whole numbers is a subset of the integers okay